If you want your ex back, then you're doing everything you can to show them that they made a mistake and that you can make them happy. And this is why you may be putting on a happy face and being extra nice to them. But I'm here to tell you that this is the worst mistake that you can make if you want a second chance with your ex. Hi guys, you probably know me, I'm Brad Browning, AKA the ex back geek and author of the best-selling X Factor Guide. I've been here on YouTube for over a decade now teaching people how to get their exes back so I know all about what goes on inside an ex's mind after a breakup. And this is how I know that being nice to your ex is a huge mistake and I'll explain why. Number one, it makes them lose respect for you. So if someone punches you in the face and then you kiss their feet, then people are going to think that you're pathetic. And this is kind of the same principle at work after a breakup. Now there is a fine line to walk here. You shouldn't be actively cruel or spiteful towards your ex, but you don't want to be actively kind towards them either. I mean, they know that what they did was hurtful, and if you act like it's all good right after the breakup, it's going to be pretty clear that you're just swallowing your feelings and trying to get back on their good side. And really, this isn't going to make them hate you. It's actually much, wor much worse than that, because it's going to make them pity you. Take it from me, you'd much rather have your ex hate you than pity you. Because honestly, no one ever fell in love with somebody out of pity. It's a toxic emotion that can kill your ex's attraction for you in an instant. Now you may say that your ex isn't like that. You know, they're not judgmental. They know that this is complicated and that you're only nice because you care about them. Well, unfortunately for you, this is all happening at a subconscious level, so they may not even know why they feel this way. In fact, if they're a good person, then they're probably fighting against this feeling with everything they've got, but honestly, it's no use. When someone hurts you and you just roll over and give them whatever they want, they can't help but lose respect for you. It's that simple. Number two, it makes them think that they did nothing wrong. Now, your ex chose to end the relationship and you have a right to be upset about that. And the more you're nice to them after they dumped you, the more they'll start to think that breaking up with you was no big deal. Basically, if dumping you was a mistake, then why are you being so nice to them? As toxic as this may seem, you don't want your ex to feel this way after a breakup. You want them to really feel the pain and heartbreak that they've inflicted on you and on themselves. And that's not going to be possible if you're still around, doing them favors, making jokes, and just generally being kind. Now, as counterintuitive as this may seem, by being nice to them in this way, you're actually helping them get over the breakup and move on. It's the loneliness that makes breakups especially painful, and by continuing to be a shoulder to cry on, you're preventing that loneliness from really setting in for your ex. And number three, it shows them that you're a backup option. If you want your ex back, you need to give them a reason to give you another chance. I mean, think about it. If they decided to end things with you, then they must have had a good reason. So what has changed since then that gives them an incentive to take you back? Well, for many people, it's the fear of losing their ex to another guy or girl that will make them come back. Honestly, this is just simple human psychology. We always want what we can't have. The grass is greener on the other side, etc. This is a very simple psychological principle that you can really take advantage of. But there is one way to screw it up. By showing your ex that you're still available and willing to take them back. If they think that they can just take their time, enjoy being single and sleep around with whoever they want without a care in the world, then they're going to take their sweet time taking you back. In fact, chances are they're going to end up meeting somebody new in the meantime that lacks all of your baggage. So you're literally giving them a safety net. With you around, they feel more comfortable dating new people because they always have you to fall back on if things don't work out. I know it's sad, but it is true. So if you want to get out of your ex's friend zone and back into a proper relationship with them, then you need to go to breakupbrad.com after this video is over. I've distilled all of my best advice into a free video presentation that will help you completely reverse this breakup faster than you thought possible. Again, you can watch that full video at breakupbrad.com. Now let's move on to number four. You're acting like nothing has changed. So it's very easy to pretend that a breakup never happened in order to prevent heartbreak on both sides. So this can include continuing to treat the other person like they're still their, your partner. So, you know, are you still living together, sleeping together and hanging out all the time? Well, this probably feels great in the moment, but deep down you both know that this breakup happened and you can't keep pretending forever. And this is where you need to wake up and face reality. You can't just sweep this breakup under the rug and hope that you'll both forget about it. Eventually, you'll come home and they'll be gone, or you'll find out that they're dating somebody else, or they'll just stop answering your messages. Now, it can be tough to break out of this fake relationship, but you have to make the leap if you want to win your ex back for real. So now that you know why you shouldn't be nice to your ex, let's talk a bit about what exactly that looks like. First off, you shouldn't be actively mean to your ex now that you've broken up. You know, you need to treat them with basic courtesy and respect the way you would any person you run into in your day-to-day your -day life. 
Now, there are certainly people out there and right here on YouTube that will tell you to treat your ex like garbage, insult them, and otherwise undermine their feelings and their decision to break, break up with you. I think this is a huge mistake if you do want another chance with your ex. Being downright mean to your ex is only gonna make you seem petty, angry, and unappealing. Really, they're never gonna want you back if you treat them like garbage. And while you might succeed in making them feel bad, it's not gonna help your case. And more than that, this anger that you're expressing towards your ex is just showing them how much you still care about them and about the relationship. It's actually, you know, making, them, making you seem pathetic. So instead, you wanna treat your ex respectfully and nothing more. Don't be afraid to come across as cold or standoffish towards your ex. They may react negatively at first, but remember that this is what they were asking for when they decided to end the relationship. They don't wanna be with you anymore, so you've got no obligation to continue to entertain them even as they try to move on from the relationship. So if your ex texts you, you know, don't rush to answer them. Stop being friendly and making jokes when you talk to them, and just don't go out of your way to do favors or nice things for them. I realize these can be hard habits to break, especially if you've been together for a long time, and especially since you probably still love them and want them back. But remember, the relationship is over for now, so you can't keep pretending it hasn't ended. Now, if you do need a little help to begin this process, consider signing up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program at breakupbrad.com coaching. When you sign up, I work with you personally to create a plan that will give you the best possible chance to win back your ex. I know breakups are hard, but I can help you come back stronger than ever. Just go to breakupbrad.com coaching to learn more. And remember that now is the time to focus on yourself and your own needs, regardless of what your ex might think. And when the time comes to try to win them back, you're gonna find yourself in a much better place and much more confident in yourself. And this is why, of course, I, I stress the importance of the no contact method in my X Factor program. No contact is essential if you want a second chance with your ex because it acts like a reset of the kind of dynamic that you've created since the breakup. So instead of seeing you as, you know, as, a, as a backup plan, a jilted lover, or a pile of baggage, your ex is gonna to start to see for you, you for, again for the person that they first fell in love with. And really, all it requires is for you to spend at least 30 days following the breakup without contacting your ex in any way. I'm sure some of you watching this right now are shocked by this idea if it's the first time you heard of it. You know, you think it's gonna be the final nail in the coffin for your relationship. You think that even if it would help, it would be impossible. I mean, you already miss them so much, even though you talk to them all the time. So going no contact would be like cutting a piece off yourself. And honestly, you're right, it's not gonna be easy. In fact, it is probably gonna be very painful and difficult, but it's also the best thing you can do right now if you do want your ex back. Because it's gonna be even more painful for your ex. This kind of sudden radio silence is gonna make them feel like they might have lost you forever. You know, they'll really have to sit with the decision they made without you there to, to dry their tears and to make them feel better about themselves. All right guys, that just about does it for this video. If you want more information about how to make no contact work for you, check out some of the related videos down below or on the sidebar or simply go to breakupbrad.com. I'm Brad Browning, thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for your liking and subscribing and I will see you in my next video.